uh, back up and running now. So thanks for joining us again. And nothing happened since that breakdown. I timed it perfectly. And uh, it's come up to, um, into Manchester United's half now with a throw in to Chelsea. Here, yeah, if you've just joined us, 23 and a half minutes gone. Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil. The best chances of the game falling all to Chelsea. Although, good, almost getting on the end. Anderson almost got on the end of a Phil Jones cross at the, man, at the other end. Denver Bar with two decent opportunities. And Oscar forced a save from Lindegaard. Apart from that, it's been an entertaining game, but both teams equal possession. Manchester, sorry, Chelsea having the better of the football right now. And uh, again, pushing forward. Here in Manchester United, a lot to think about. Been a back and forth game at that. And here's Ashley Cole. Plays it 1 2 with Victor Moses. And now just turns into the space behind him. And here's Denver Bar. And about the shoves of a tackle from Johnny Evans crossed in. Oh, another one aimed at Denver Bar, but it was over the Cameroonian, I mean Senegalese striker, and caught by Lindegaard, who is in replacing David De Gea, who is on the bench today, as is Michael Carrick, Wayne Rooney, and Rio Ferdinand, the other player to be rested. Tom Cleverley back in the starting lineup. As is Nemanja Vidic and Ryan Giggs also getting a starting place on the left wing. Here is Ryan Giggs now in a more central position. Oh, tries to cross it into Van Persie. It's headed away though. And here um, now can Chelsea break with one matter deep in his own half. Now running over to the halfway line. Passes it back to Ramirez, we didn't expect that. And had to check his run quickly to regain possession. As Pilaqueta now. Oscar just coming in from the right hand side. As Chelsea look at it attacking from right to left. Here at Old Trafford, a ball find, trying to find Victor Moses, headed out of play by Raphael. Now it's with David Luiz. Luiz looks up, sees Matter in a lot of space, goes for Oscar though on his right hand side, a bit behind Oscar though, didn't really want it there. Has to deal with it, make something of it. Has Van Percy just in front of him. Now plays it to Ramirez. Ramirez turns and finds Ivanovic in the centre back role, and Ivanovic in turn finds Oscar. Oh, but Oscar didn't realise where his other teammates was and gives the ball away in Manchester United's half and that's with Johnny Evans to Raphael no, to Valencia now, Raphael's gone much more far, further forward and he tries to find it back to Valencia which cut out by Ashley Cole and again this is where Chelsea are most dangerous you can just try and get a quick break going here and it's with Oscar Ramirez yes, Pilaqueta pass straight into Ramirez, good tackle from Phil Jones and out for a corner kick to Chelsea. Mm. I mean that's the third or fourth corner of the game for Chelsea. And Manchester United yet to have one. She's taken short. Back to Mata. Oscar. Oscar right footed low cross. Knocked away from a Manchester United defender. Back with Oscar. Oscar's low cross again this time blocked. Here are, is Azpilicueta, finds Victor Moses, who also had a decent opportunity at the end of the penalty area, which he blazed over. Unless he uh, talks about that the more better, but here goes Frank Lampard with a drive from well outside the area, straight at Lindegaard. Easy save. She really wanted to just curl that away, just get some curl on it, drive it into the bottom corner. We're here in Manchester United with Anderson, Anderson who is so close to just getting a toe on Phil Jones's cross but here he lays it off to Ryan Giggs on the left hand side and really well played by Azpilicueta to win the ball off Ryan Giggs in the penalty area 
and set up a quick break for Chelsea with Victor Moses. Pace just heating up a little bit every occasion. We have these quick counter attacks. Well, and a great sliding tackle from Raphael to win the ball off Ashley Cole. It's out for a throw in though to Chelsea. It's going to be taken by Ashley Cole here on this right hand side. Chelsea, obviously, a win would take them above Tottenham and Arsenal into third position. A draw would take them fully a, a point ahead of Tottenham. And just leave them a point behind Arsenal ahead of that Lun all London clash with Tottenham on Chu on Wednesday night. Here's another ball into the area where Demba Bar heads it down to Victor Moses who wants a free kick, doesn't get it. Howard Webb the referee today. And nothing given for Victor Moses. Did look a little bit of contact but much like the Demba Bar incident earlier. A bit too soft going down. Here's Valencia down on the right hand side. Crosses it in, aimed at Van Persie. It's headed away though by Ivanovic. And now Chelsea again can set up a quick break. It's with Victor Moses. Victor Moses down this left hand side. He's only got Demba Bar ahead of him. Finds Demba Bar on the wing. Demba Bar wants to cut in on his right foot. He does so and curls it into not far wide. He wants a corner kick. Not going to get it. And it's a goal kick to Manchester United. But another opportunity on the quick counter from Chelsea. Didn't really have much options. Demba Bar had to go for goal. And just wide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, still no goal at Wembley we've just uh, about around 20 minutes to go between Wrexham and Newport County still no goals here goals here 30 minutes gone Manchester United nil Chelsea nil Chelsea had the better of play for these opening 30 minutes and definitely the last 10 minutes have really dominated had so much possession, especially in Manchester United's half. But Denver Bar just getting a bit over eager to win the ball back off Johnny Evans and concedes a free kick, relieving a bit of pressure off the Manchester United goal. Hasn't been that much in terms of chances, not really huge chances. Players have made their own little half chances, but nothing. Um, really that stands out as um, a missed opportunity to take the lead. Seeing um, Steve Clark in the crowd there, West Bromwich Albion's manager, after their defeat yesterday at the hands of Wigan, who are now can push in for the great escape once again. It could be dealt a great sense of um, a ch great chance if Stoke can beat Sunderland tomorrow night in the 8 o'clock kickoff. That will be at the stadium a light. A defeat for Sunderland tomorrow and a win for Wigan on Tuesday means Wigan will be out of the relegation zone and Sunderland will be in the bottom three come Tuesday night. That is if Sunderland fail to that's if Sunderland lose tomorrow and Wigan win on Tuesday at home to Swansea. It's a very big possibility and not one Paolo Di Canio will be wanting to think about right now. Now here's a counter attack for Manchester United, it's with Van Persie, Van Persie goes against two defenders onto his left foot, it's blocked by Azpilicueta, Azpilicueta is going to do enough to get it out for, to another Manchester United player though, and he's back with Van Persie and he's crosses poor, and it's going to be out for a throw in to Chelsea, Azpilicueta did well to keep it out from going for a couple, just have a look at the chance again, he was one on one with David Luiz, David Luiz did enough to stall him, Allow Aspilicueta to get back and make the block. He then handed it right back to Ryan Giggs. Really would have wanted to just get it out of play for a throw in, but in the end, Van Persie's ball into the box was poor. Ahead of everybody who was at actually at the near post, went for the back post, where no Manchester United player was. So that's a good opportunity for Manchester United. It looked like it just come from nothing, just won the ball back well. And Chelsea just failed to get back quick enough and luckily with um, joint work from David Luiz and Azpilicueta were able 
to snuff out the danger. Just a bit of a warning. On any other day, you'd say Van Persie might have uh, made them pay for that. And here's Anderson still going. Advantage played. Plays it down the left to Ryan Giggs. He's got a lot of space to put in a left footy cross and touched away from by um, Pedacek. And then it's Cleverly's drive right footed far over the crossbar. Another sweet counter attack from Manchester United. He was crossed in and uh, Czech was able to push it away into the path for their own rushing cleverly, but his effort was poor. And over the crossbar to a goal kick for Chelsea. And that's just two dangerous attacks from Manchester United in quick succession. Oh, and that's a nasty tackle from cleverly. It's on one matter. He went in a bit dangerous there. Wouldn't be surprised if he went to the book, but no referee's going to allow it to go on. It was a little naughty from um, Nathan, uh, Tom Cleverly, not Nathan Cleverly. And yeah, just takes um, Matter's legs from under him. It's a ball in, aim for Denver Bar, but again, um, Nemanja Vidic is able to deal with it. He gets a ball back that he really didn't want, but he's able to deal with it. And now here come Chelsea again with Denver Bar. Backwards to Ashley Cole, who puts the ball across field for Azpilicueta. And it looks to go forward and finds Oscar. Oscar plays with three Manchester United players. Now it's for one match who gives it away. Well cut out by Nathan, by T Tom Cleverly. I'm just going to say Cleverly now. Not going to say any other. And that's a ball over the top aim for Van Persie. But David Luiz watches it all the way and is able to head it down to Ivanovic. Who is now to find Frank Lampard over the top ball to Denver Pires. Route one ball was cut out. But here it drops to one matter. Shot blocked by Johnny Evans. And it's going to come through to Lindegaard to pick up. Again, just sloppy from Manchester United in defence, just kicking it out to a Chelsea player. That was Nemanja Vidic that time, tried to clear it, but cleared it low. And straight at one matter, he created an opportunity for Chelsea that they really shouldn't be getting. Here's Ryan Giggs on the left-hand side. Back heels it to Evra. Evra now pulls it back to Cleverly. Cleverly wants options. He's got one, Anderson. He's took up a more offensive position in midfield. Really good skill from Anderson. Gets around two Chelsea players. And now it's with Evra. Evra looks for the overlapping run of Ryan Giggs, who's offside. Really timed that poorly. Ryan Giggs, a veteran of so many games, should have really realised that. Just over. Let's have a look on the replay. No way, he's onside. I do apologise to Ryan Giggs. He's absolutely onside that for a couple of yards and he did actually time that run to perfection so well done Giggs but unfortunately it won't go down in that way I don't know if it has a free kick it just seemed to stop a moment from play and here it is with Raphael anyway I didn't know if it was a free kick given against Denver Bar whether both players just standing still for a moment but anyway it's with Manchester United anyway in Chelsea's half Anderson so in strength for well as well but Oscar returning that favour and pushing back Anderson winning the ball back of his Brazilian counterpart here's Azpilicueta now on this right hand side where Oscar's really adopted the position on that right side now Azpilicueta into Frank Lampard who tries to one touch knock it through to Denver Bar but that's going to be shielded out by Evans for a goal kick to Manchester United just at 7 minutes to go till half time now Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil, and still in the Wembley in the Blue Square Premier Playoff Final Wrexham nil, Newport County nil. just over it just about 10 minutes to go there at Wembley Stadium that all Welsh clash in the Blue Square Premier Playoff final. And here it is with Chelsea in their defensive line. It's 
talking earlier about yesterday, the heroics at the end of the day. We have so many deciding factors at the end. Hull securing their place in automatic promotion. Leicester snatching a place in the playoffs. Uh, Peterborough and Wolves relegated. Just so much drama. It all come down to the final few minutes where Hull had a chance to go 3-1 up from the penalty spot and secure promotion and miss the penalty only to concede right at the other end a penalty which Maynard tucked away for Cardiff 2-2 that ended but thanks to Leeds 2-1 win, win against 10-man Watford in a game that was delayed by 15 minutes which made it a much more anxious wait for Hull fans and players alike but uh, McCaw, Ross McCormack goal meant that it was Hull to be promoted and not Watford with any last day heroics also in the League 1 playoff yesterday Brentford 1 uh, Swindon 1 at the county ground in Swindon um, this time there was no missed penalty in the 90th minute for Brentford as it was O'Connor who stepped up this time to take it and scored the 90th minute penalty to level up at one all to take a 1-1 draw back to Griffin Park tomorrow lunchtime at 1.30. So do not miss that game between Brentford and Sheffield United. So Brentford and Swindon, that game is actually a 4.30 kickoff. 1.30 kickoff is between Sheffield United and Yeovil which is also 1-0 to Sheffield United. Now we play at Yeovil's Hewish Park. And here come Chelsea again. It's Ivanovic. Oh, it's his left hand side with Denver Bar. Just uh, Patrice Evers pulled up with a hat. What looks like a hamstring injury. He's just hobbling back at the moment. Will Manchester United play on? They probably will put it out of play here. But no, they're going to carry on themselves. And here's Robin Van Persie. Cuts onto his left foot. It's not near the goal yet getting a bit too excited but now they're getting near the goal and it's Phil Jones into the penalty area Phil Jones cuts it back with well cut out by Pedacek to stop that chance from materialising Patrick Zev is still going out there I'm surprised really Man United should have just put that out I know they created an opportunity but you've got a man hobbling about now and Chelsea have no right now to put the ball out to play and I won't do that it's going to see if maybe um, Everett can run it off but it doesn't look like a type of injury that will be run off can Chelsea take advantage of that it's David Luiz he's scored some wonder goals in the last few games not one there fires that high and wide into the Manchester United crowd scored another sensational goal on Thursday night against FC Basel the third goal of the game was Scorcher from about 30 yards out into the top corner Everett just giving the thumbs up at the moment. He's not sure that's an injury. He'd want to take a risk on near the end of the season. He'd rather just let him request recuperate before um, for the summer, really. Extra long break. No point taking any risk and causing a bad tear in the hamstring, which would put him out for a couple of months. Which would ruin pre-season trend. There's a ball through to Van Persie and it's just wide from Robin Van Persie. He was pulling, he gets his left foot to it I think. But it was just, just wide. It was a good ball from Ryan Giggs. Found a running Van Persie. And he just puts it away. Yeah. Right, bye then. a difficult chance there for Van Persie couldn't quite get his left foot around he had to take it with the outside of his left foot really and that's never going to send into the back of the net it's going to push it further away from goal which it did there just hoping he'd get minimal contact on it and take it into the bottom corner Czech seemed to have his near post covered now just two minutes to go till the break and here's Oscar just to the edge of the penalty area a go and that's inches wide from Oscar he wants a corner thinks it just took a nick on the way through or was it saved by Lindegaard yeah really good another chance and nothing really from Oscar you don't expect him to shoot he just took it onto his right foot dragged it across goal 
you know, there's no touches off anybody and but it is just a few inches wide in the end didn't take a nick off anyone on the way through and rightly a goal kick to Manchester United but another chance from Oscar's right boot uh, here at the other end is Valencia crosses in and it was Van Persie I think again getting to that and it was Ryan Giggs who got his right boot to that cross obviously never going to get the accuracy on nature it's going to have to be a bit of a lucky goal if it goes in he's got to try and get something onto the cross just runs in and gets the outside of his left foot onto it mid air and he just carries on in the direction of the fans and out for a goal kick to Chelsea Just given away there by Chelsea. Cut out there the pass by uh, Tom Cleverley. And now it's a ball over to Valencia on this right hand side. Valencia faced by two players. He's got Raphael on the outside of him. Decides to go inside to Phil Jones. Phil Jones looks up. Now it's with Antonio Valencia again. Raphael on his right side. Faced by Victor Moses and Ashley Cole. Now it's with Anderson who's cut over to his right hand side. Knocks it back, Jones again. Now it's with Valencia, just trying to work a way to get a cross in. Maybe for our, for Manchester United, three players in the box. And they're sending it over to his left-hand side. Where Evra wants it, Evra gets it and plays a little through ball to... Um, is it, um, it's crossed back in, it's headed by Van Persie. I think it was um, Ryan Giggs. And it was Manja Vidic all the way down there. Number 15, Nemanja Vidic, with some real skill down the left hand side and a lovely cross into Van Persie. And Van Persie got the header onto it, but he was straight at Pedacek. And there is the half time whistle Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil at the half. Both teams have had plenty of half chances, not anything uh, clear cut so far in the first half. Then Babar got the game off to setting an early tempo with two chances both times just couldn't really get his feet set on the one couldn't get his positioning right on the other um, a shot deflected by Lindegaard onto the post from Oscar Van Persie had some chances well at the other end including that one just at the end which was straight at Pedacek and Oscar as well had another right footed shot just dragged it wide but plenty of chances an entertaining end to end game here that remains Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil.